Um, all right, guys, so we are back here with Keegan. It is uh, been two and a half weeks since he demoed the Ferris mower. So let's give you an update, and actually let's give me an update because I don't actually know the pros and cons since he's been using it, of what he actually likes, don't like, uh, things of that. But uh, I will tell you that, um, well, you, you ended up buying the Ferris. Yep. And you sold the Skag. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Pros and cons, because there's uh, now that you've there were some things in the when we filmed the video that uh, well we talked about that uh, you didn't like and you did like. Um, now that you've used the mower, uh, what are, are your pros and cons as of now? Well, I'll be honest, they haven't changed a whole lot okay. uh, with the Ferris. Uh, that cut quality is. 10 times better than the skag. Uh, skag cuts great, but you can just tell after making a pass with the skag or the ferris, uh, the ferris is much greener. Even if the blades aren't sharp, that ferris's cut quality is a lot better. Uh, also on the ferris, the machine just sounds better. It doesn't sound like it. It doesn't bog down near as much as the Skag. Exact same motor, exact same yeah, deck size. I was going to say you had a 37 on it too. Yeah, exact same thing. Uh, I feel like with the Ferris, you can. I was cutting Sunday morning at seven o'clock in the morning. It had just poured, and uh, grass was probably I don't know up to my knees, and I was cutting at four inches and didn't look back. I mean. It didn't have to look super pretty or nothing, but it looked good enough where I was like, that looks good for, <laughs> hadn't been mowed all year, right. literally. So that was for my dad doing, he was, oh, gotcha. he was running, he was running fence, <laughs> so I was clearing fence rows for him. And I mean, running the same speed I would on right. a grass that was a week tall, literally. So, I mean, that's pretty, so pretty did you, impressive. Did you keep it in the same, the second speed setting? Oh yeah, there? yeah, yeah, I kept it in the same. <clears throat> um, okay. So. Uh, what were some other things? So you did you used to you didn't like the small handles. Yep. Um, is is that the same? No, I, I like the small handles now because if I'm have to park a little bit away from a yard, I can grab my weed eater and my blower and be able to control it with one hand a lot easier than the skag. Those skag controls are a lot tougher to maneuver with one hand. So, so. now let me ask you this because uh, I had I was talking to um, somebody today and he was talking about the skag. Uh, hydros are so hard to get used to they're so touchy yeah um, he's like I could mow for a, a whole day on a skag uh, this is Jeff um, anyway uh, so he said I could mow a whole day on a skag and I still couldn't make a straight damn line with that thing to save my life and uh, and I said well it takes a while to get used to them hydros yeah. for sure but uh, he was talking about how much smoother these are. What's your thoughts on that? Like, I mean, I own the, the older Skag B-Ride and they are touchy hydros for sure. These do feel real smooth. Uh, the hydros that I think were probably the smoothest I've ever touched or felt were probably the right standards, were probably real nice smoothing hydros, but these are, are, are still nice, but okay, anyway. Um, so what do you think about the hydro comparisons? I think the, the Ferris is better and I got a story. So my, uh, me and my helper, we lined up in the, in the road next to each other. He had the 61 Skag, I had the 61 Ferris. We lined them right up next to each other. We were racing. So, uh, so I said go. It, you put it in four speed? I put it, yep, I put oh, it at okay. the very top. Make sure you and put I, it in the right, yeah, right mode. And I said go. And he stood that mower straight up and down, and I was 10 foot that way. But he was still sitting straight up and down because of how touchy those hydros were, literally. He punched it, and it punched up. I punched that, and it went out. So if y'all <laughs> did y'all try going like side by side, like a, like a actual, uh, instead of just from a dead stop, actually going and seeing? Speed-wise? Yeah, I'd be curious which one Oh, actually. yeah. I let him go in front of me, and I passed him. Literally, <laughs> he's like 10 feet in front of me and like, see ya. And I, I think it's because when I adjusted there, now if I was on like the third one or something, right. I probably would have been the same speed. But bringing it up here, I was able to pass him and so. Okay, so uh, what other cons? Okay, so platform, uh, you didn't like the platform when you, you uh, 
when we talked the first time, I believe the platform was one of the things you didn't like. Yep. Um, same or changed? Uh, still the same on the platform. Uh, d doesn't ride near as well as a Skag, in my opinion. Uh, but I feel like the cut quality of not having to go back and maybe cut a yard twice is better. Uh, so the Skag, uh, so it's got them heavy duty springs on the side or whatever, and then it's it holds you up uh, like this or whatever. So I was telling him that the platform on this is adjustable. So he's going to start messing with that and see if <laughs> see if he can get it to uh, you know where he likes. Um, Fat or, kid approved, yeah. Or to where you know it's it's uh, way more comfortable for him compared to like the what he's used to anyway. Um, <clears throat> What else is there? You think of anything? Uh, so you used to not cut properties in the morning. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, there you go. And so, uh, cut, <laughs> cutting wet grass. The skag will not do it. It'll cut it, but it'll look like crap every time. This thing, we got on a yard at seven o'clock in the morning, 7.30, and it was wet as can be. And I, I think there's point of view footage and you can see the uh, the shoot difference between the skag and the ferris is yeah, way did, different. Yep. Literally, yeah, point of view, you'd be able to see it. Yep. yep. <clears throat> and so, uh, well, that was the whole thing. Was was uh, I told him? I said uh, he mentioned something about he he waits till later in the day to cut or something. And I said, man, you get you a ferris, you don't have to worry about that. And, and because he owns two skags, he had the sixty-one and a fifty-two. Yep. And he's like, yeah, whatever, you know. And I was like, I'm serious. Like I said. Keegan, I will take this Ferris and I will put it on my nicest, well-manicured property at seven o'clock with, with dew all over the ground and never blink an eye. And uh, he, he literally, uh, he said, you know, hey, prove it. And I said, well, well, you just say when. So that's the video, you, you know, that you've seen uh, connected to this was, was that. Uh, so, um, well, we, uh, we, we tried to prove it. Uh, and so I, apparently we did prove it because he ended up he ended up <laughs> selling the skag. So, uh, but it, it really is a good mower. I wish you had oh. had heels. Uh, that's one thing that I wish you had was heels uh, to compare. Um, that's the other thing. The stance we showed in the video oh, of yeah, the Ferris is like six yep. inches wider, literally. So do you like the twills? If not, uh, can I buy them? Yeah. <laughs> what? what? I, Going I, off I, what? I that right there? I a stupid flat today, so I'd like to buy them if you don't want, <laughs> you don't want them. Uh, uh, so control-wise, uh, does it bother you that the key's here, like where the controls are at, anything like that? The one thing that threw me off is if you're not looking for the gas can or for the gas oh, tank gas. gauge, okay, yeah. you ain't going to find it. Yeah, through, through the whole <laughs> yeah, thing, right? Because yeah. the skag is right there, literally. <laughs> that I, My dad was like, yeah, that's a stupid design. I was like, yeah, but it cuts good. But it cuts that. good. I agree with that. But you got like 10 or 12 gallons. Like, what do you, yeah. you really, and it seems like you can cut forever on it. Um, so you really don't really have to worry about too much. Um, <clears throat> okay, so you got the twill because he, he ended up buying the old mower. So the old mower, the 2021 I bought, uh, I sold to a buddy when I bought this 2022 because of the clutch. Um, and so then when he bought it for his house uh, for residential use only, well, then he is one of them people that like cut his lawn once a month, if that. Uh, and so he barely put anything on the mower. And then, well, he started using it and then uh you know so he got a, he got a good deal on it and then when he sold his skag well he pretty much got almost uh back what he bought the other one for what he bought the ferris for so i mean it was almost a win-win situation for him uh because he's he's real happy with the purchase he made uh <clears throat> i don't know have you noticed the difference in gas uh they're well they're the same engine so you, you, I mean, I don't guess you'd notice a difference nah, on anything you, like that. You gotta um, have it. I don't pay attention to it. <laughs> uh, that's probably about it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. We went over the platform. We went over the controls. We went over the cut quality. Yep. Um, went over the stands. Everything. I mean, you're happy with it, so yeah. that's pretty much what matters. I yeah, guess. Oh yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Well, 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I guess if you uh, have any questions, comments, um, feel free to comment down below. I'm sure there's a lot of scag going. Let's look. I want to settle one thing real fast. Uh, so <clears throat> I see a lot of people do it. I know. I get it. Okay. Look, I just I gotta settle it. I gotta settle it right now. Everybody wants to go and post their scag stripes and say no stripe kit. Burr, burr, burr. The wheels on the back of that damn deck, would you consider that a stripe kit or not? Not the, not the Ferris, the Skag. You know yeah, how oh the, yeah, the wheels that's a stripe kit. Back? Yeah, I would consider that a stripe kit. <clears throat> okay, Skag considers that a scalp wheels. You know, scalp wheels yeah, that stick yeah, this yeah. far down below the deck to push that and, grain and out. roll the grass uh, over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are a stag owner and you say you do not have a strike kit on your mower when you post the picture, take it off and then, <laughs> then post some pictures. Has anybody okay. tried that? Uh, I don't think so. You want to make another video? Uh, Let's do it. Uh, we could do it. I actually, I don't think we could. Well, because I think the, uh, I think that, I don't know, if, don't quote me on this, but I think them rollers have a, uh, so there's a hanger that goes from yeah. there to the top of the, or the back of the mower yeah. frame. Yeah. So uh, them bushings, I think, go through the wheels. So I don't know if, I don't know if, you would have to pull them bushings out and, and then, then pull it all the wheels falls apart. Uh, right. Yeah. I don't know how that works. Yeah. We'll have to check into that, but that would be a good video to see. <clears throat> I'd be kind of curious. I mean, does it stripe? It, uh, okay, look, I mean, we've seen how the fair stripes without anything on it. Yeah. it they're fabulous, right? I mean, most machines are going to stripe just fine. Uh, when you have something like that, though, with that weight, with a wheel rolling over it, you got the weight of the deck pushing down. It's going to It's going to strike better. Yeah. More than likely. So yeah. So if, if quit posting me pictures saying you don't have a strike kit because that wheel is a strike kit. I don't care what scag tells you because scag lies. <laughs> um, anyway, just like they lied to you about having the best mower deck, we proved that Ferris is the best. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to check out that that wheel thing, and we're going to see if it makes a difference. Uh, with the wheel being on yep. the deck or if it don't make a difference at all I'd say it makes a difference I would think I, I would I would definitely say it's going to make a difference is it going to be tremendous I, I'd say it's going to be noticeable but I don't think it's going to be crazy I think it's going to be tremendous enough that you skag lovers are going to put it back on um, anyway we'll see you on the next video <laughs> Let's go. I'm a strap in the great, yep. knock with the bass. Yep. I got the echo locked in your face. Ooh. If you want to battle, this is not that place. You can meet me at the table and come get a taste. We talk to YouTube live, yep. where I thrive. Yep. See me on the tour, watch the grass fly by. Some think that I'm cocky, DeWalt to Milwaukee. It really don't matter, cause y'all can get off me. If you like the video, sub, then hit a play. We got 10K.